Hello everyone, it's Kelly here, and today we are going to be talking about our safety topic for the month of November, which is preventing the spread of germs. And so we all know that with the colder weather coming, we're going to be inside more often. Things like the flu are going to come out again, and maybe other viruses, you know, we're still fighting COVID, so we thought that this would be a really good topic for us to take a look at today. So the CDC has given us um, some suggestions on how to prevent the spread of germs. So first, you know, they encourage us to keep socially distanced when we're in the community. So six feet from other people when we can. We want to cover our cough or sneeze with a tissue. You know, we don't want to just be coughing out, you know, into the air. And then after we're done with our tissue, we want to throw it away and then wash our hands afterwards. And if you don't have a tissue, you want to cough into the inside of your elbow. So again, that helps to prevent those germs from spreading to anybody else who's in the area. When you're in public, you know, you can wear a mask over your nose and mouth. Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And so that's because these are the areas of your body where um, germs can easily get into and then easily infect your body. Now, if you have to touch one of those areas, wash your hands first. You also want to clean and disinfect commonly touched surfaces. You want to stay home when you're sick, except to get medical care. And you want to wash your hands often with soap and water. So you guys will see them in the bathroom today, right? And so we want to take over the five steps for effective hand washing. So you guys might remember, first we want to wet our hands. So I have my sink right here. So I'm gonna wet my hands with clean running water, turn off the tap, and then I wanna apply some soap. So you can see I have the soap here. I wanna lather my hands by rubbing them together with the soap. So I want to get the backs of my hands in between my fingers, under my nails, and scrub for at least 20 seconds. So let's count it out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that's about twenty seconds. It's a long time. You can also sing the happy birthday song if you don't want to count. So next, we need to rinse our hands well under clean running water. So make sure all the soap is off my hands. Okay, shake my hands off. And next, I still have wet hands. So I wanna dry them using a clean towel or I can air dry them. Now remember, it's important that we're using a clean towel because we just cleaned our hands. So I'll put my towel back there. So. If you are not able to clean your hands with soap and water, you can use an alcohol-based um, hand cleaner known as like hand sanitizer. So if you're doing that, you want to put a dime-sized dollop in your hand, rub your hands together. So you're going to, just like you were seeing me do with the soap, rub your hands to together covering all the surfaces and then rub your hands until they're dry. So we just wanted to review again some important times to be washing our hands. So we think about before, during, and after preparing food, before eating, before and after caring for somebody who's sick, before and after treating a cut or a wound, after using the bathroom, blowing our nose, coughing and sneezing, after touching an animal, animal food or animal waste, after handling pet food or pet treats, after touching the garbage, after you've been in a public place, where you might have touched an, a surface that would be touched by a lot of people. Things like door handles, tables, gas pumps, shopping carts, cash registers, anything like that. And before touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. Because again, that's how those germs get into our bodies. So we also want to share just some healthy habits. You know, first we want to be getting plenty of sleep. So seven to eight hours is the recommended amount of sleep you should get per night being physically active. So during doing your best to get some exercise each day, 
doing things like stretching, yoga, taking a walk, going for a run. These are all examples of ways that we can be active. We want to manage our stress. Practice coping skills twice per day is a good way. Doing things like deep breathing, squeezing a stress ball, taking a break, meditation. We want to drink plenty of fluids. So this will ensure that we stay hydrated. So you can keep a water bottle with you, like you know, I got you guys know that I do. Um, you know, and it also helps you to have access to that water throughout the day. Um, but making sure that we have plenty of fluids helps to flush out any germs we come into contact with. And then eating nutritious food, you know, fruit foods such as fruits and vegetables, lean meats, fish, whole grains, dairy, and nuts can help our body to be stronger and better able to fight off infection. So we hope that this information is just a helpful reminder as we, uh, you know, have holidays coming up, as we, you know, are inside more often. We definitely want to prevent the spread of germs. We want to be as healthy as we can. So um, we hope this is a good reminder, and we hope that you all have a great day.